Hello, print princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we have a little segment that I've decided to call two for review. That means that I'm taking two smaller but new beauty releases and putting them together in one video. We'll make a pair out of them. And those two releases that we're going to look at today are the brand new Huda Beauty One Coat Wow Mascara and the brand new Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Satin Cream Lipstick. I've got two shades of the lipstick. There's only one shade of the mascara. So let's get started. Let's start with this new Lawless release. Now Lawless Beauty, I am very fond of the brand in general. They're a good little brand, but I especially like their lip products. If you've been with this channel a while, you know I often rave about the Forget the Filler Lip Gloss, but the brand also has a lip balm that's very nice and a lip mask, actually a treatment mask. But this is new. This is actually a bullet lipstick. There are 12 different shades, but I went ahead and picked up two just to test them out. I'm actually wearing one now, and then in the middle of this video, we'll change and you'll see the other one. I picked up two colors. I picked up Wedding Day. That's what I'm wearing right now. So you're seeing Wedding Day. And actually we'll put it on a little bit darker. I've been wearing it for a while. It's definitely a pale one. Probably would benefit from a lip liner, but I never do that when I'm just trying it out. But this one is actually pale almost to where it could be getting too pale, but not quite there yet. So I kind of like that. It would look really pretty with a deeper liner. Actually, would be quite striking. These are hydrating, plumping, 94% natural, and with continued use, they improve lip condition. The other shade I got was a shade called Morocco that we'll put on in a, in a few minutes here, and this is a much deeper shade. Actually, I'll just swatch them both for you. Here is Morocco, kind of a nice brown red shade. I tend to like those. And then of course what I'm wearing now is Wedding Day. Smart of them as there's so many brides in June and July. And let's see if that will show up. Yeah, sure it does. It looks a little darker on my arm. Almost approaching the Morocco color. So we'll see what Morocco looks like on the lips. But you know, there's 10 other shades as well. So far these are nice and comfy. They do have a sort of plumping sensation. I do feel a little bit of a tingle, but if you guys know me well, and most of you do, I don't like tingly, irritating lip plumpers, but I love Lawless because when they say it plumps, I don't find any sort of irritation. I tend to, as I always say, when it's a lip plumping product, I run around like my hair is on fire and I gotta scrub it off and I never feel that way with Lawless. I'm feeling this one a little bit more than I have felt some of their others. Like the gloss doesn't, I barely even notice it in the gloss. This one I'm noticing it a little bit more, a little bit tingly, worth it if it is making my lips look a little plumper. And that remains to be seen. The other product that we're doing in this two for review is our brand new, as I said, Huda Beauty One Coat Wow Mascara. Whereas the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Satin Cream Lipstick is $28, the Huda One Coat Wow Mascara is $23 in this bright pink plastic packing. I think they could have gotten a little more luxe on the packaging. I've had this complaint about Huda Beauty Mascara before. Um, she had that mascara that had two different sides, like one for, for plumping and one for lengthening. It was kind of gimmicky. It was a nice mascara, but I didn't end up reaching for it a lot. That was in a plastic container too. So I don't always like the way the brand packages their mascara, but obviously they don't ask me. This is in a shade called Very Vanta, which is just the only shade they offer, an extreme black, they call it. This mascara provides volume, length, and curl. Well, we'll be the judge of that. That is quite a claim to do all three in one mascara. It has a dual-sided brush, and they say that you only need one coat and no retouching. Here's what confuses me a little bit. So they let's look at the brush. So they have a brush that has a convex side and a concave side. One side is for coating the lashes and one side is for kind of, you know, um, defining them. But in and of itself, if you put on a coat and have to flip and then use the other side to define, isn't that more than one coat? Or do they mean one dip? You know, there's one coat and then there's one dip into the tube. 
You with me on this? Okay, well let's try it. I have already curled my eyelashes with the brand new Refer Curler, uh, which I talked about in another video uh, I had with a bunch of new products in it as well. Refer, I love their eyelash curler, and they have like three sizes now. They had their original, and now they made a smaller and a bigger. So depending on your eye size, there's something for you. All right, this is an interesting little thing here. We're going to try the other Lawless uh, lipstick in a moment. This is kind of interesting. By the way, that Lawless tingling has completely subsided. I am happy to report. Okay, let's try this here and see what we think. Ooh, it grabs the lashes really well. See, but I'm already doing more than one coat. I don't know if I know how to do only quick. So basically they're saying that that's kind of all I'd have to do. Actually, look, this eye has, well, maybe I went twice, but I mean, really, nothing like I would normally do on this eye. And it definitely had, okay, okay. I'll put a little more on because I, I just don't know how not to, you guys. I really don't know how not to. Uh, so now, now I will say this. I am not dipping at all. I am not dipping back in. I'm definitely going back and forth. So it dep depends what you define coat as. But I'm not, I'm not dipping back in. That is, pr hello. That is really quite pretty. Okay, now I'm going to dunk it back in and then show you. Here we've got one eye. That's pretty good, isn't it? That's one dip, a bunch of flicks of my wrist. So, I don't know. Some of you are going to be in there like mascara professors telling me, a coat means this, a dip means <laughs> You can tell me. I like the dialogue. I'm not offended. Go ahead. You can tell me. All right, let's do the other side. I got to tell you, I am I am super impressed. You know, I had a review filmed of the Fenty mascara that came out a while ago. Um, oh, not a while ago. It was still relatively new, but, you know, in beauty speak a few months ago. Yeah, and uh, I hated it. And it got underneath my eyes and it made raccoon eyes. And I threw away my review because uh, I didn't realize it had given me raccoon eyes. So I have I, I had high hopes for it. But let me tell you, this is impressing me from the get-go. Like, seriously impressing me. Like, it takes a lot for a mascara to impress me, and it impresses me, seriously. Um, you know, most mascaras these days are pretty good. This is seems to be fantastic. Like, I am really liking this mascara. No weird smell or anything like that. Don't love the pink packaging, but she can put it in any packaging she wants if it looks nice on my eyes, right? Okay. I think now I'm giving you that weird stare. Sorry. <laughs> what do you think? It's a beautiful mascara. You guys like seriously, I review a lot of mascaras. I probably have 10 open at the same time. And this is a beautiful mascara. That is really pretty. Now we have to see, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to edit. I'm, I'm, I learned something. I am not editing this video. I'm going to give it a day or two and I'm going to continue to wear it. And right here, I'm going to put, if this gave me panda bear eyes, raccoon eyes, if it flaked into my eyes, because I know we got contact lens wearers out there. I know you guys. I know. So right there, I'm going to let you know. See, covering my bases here. Can't count it. But right now it's not. It's not a tubing mascara. Let me take, actually, hold on. Just stay right there. I want to add a little to the edges there and get it's it is lengthening it is curling I mean I had pre-curled them but I have very straight lashes now it is extremely uh, volumizing if you don't some people don't like that volumized look you know where it's the the lashes do look a little bit thick I've had people tell me, oh, I hate this. What's wrong? What did I do wrong? Uh-uh-uh. Volumizing mascaras will do that. They thicken, right? Um, if you want just lengthening, there are mascaras for that. This is going to give you a little bit thicker, more drama. Oh, I think it's just very pretty. Okay, while I pose, I don't need to bore you with that. Let's, let me take off this wedding day really pale lip look, which I'm kind of dying to do with a liner. And let's try the slightly darker Morocco shade. Okay, okay shade choice is everything. Look at the difference when I just go a little bit deeper with this shade called Morocco in the new Lawless Bulleted Lipstick, Bullet Lipstick. It is, okay, so when I first put it on, I've worn it for 45 minutes. I went, I made sure I went ahead and busied myself with other things. There is a definite um, 
kind of cool, tingly feeling, nothing scary, and I scare easily, when you first apply it for about mm, three minutes, and then it completely goes away. So I don't feel anything now. Uh, the color is creamy, without being too creamy. Like, I, I feel like I have a lipstick on, but it's very comfortable, and the product, it's not traveling. Like, I don't have any liner, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna travel, and when they say line smoothing, they're right. So this has a little bit more of a shade, but I want you to look when I do a ridiculously big smile. Here we go. <laughs> There's no little cracks. So they said that, and they mean it. I think it's just another winner for a Lawless, another lip winner for Lawless. Let me put a little bit more on, because as I told you, it's been 45 minutes. Here's the shape of the bullet, pretty little container. So there's a lot more. 45 minutes ago, I just put on kind of one coat, so there's the difference. Here's just kind of one coat left for 45 minutes, and here's about, what is that, four or five coats directly applied. Put a little more up top. And it, it doesn't feel like you would really, you really wouldn't need that liner. That's a pretty lipstick. The other shade was just a little blah. It needs a liner. Not, wait, that's nothing. That doesn't reflect poorly on Lawless. It reflects poorly on the one who chose the, the shade, my staff. <laughs> on my staff who chose the shade for me. So um, the other one I would definitely have to wear with a liner for color, but not for application or um, stick to itiveness purposes. But look at when I change the shade to something a little bit more flattering on my skin tone and hair color and stuff, we're talking much better. Really nice, comfy lipstick. It's kind of a simple lipstick. Like there's not a lot that recommends it. I mean, the, the packaging is really pretty. It's fine, it's, it's magnetic, um, it's sleek but it's super comfy and it wears well. So this is more of a reliable lipstick and sometimes reliable isn't like the most exciting. You know, I don't know if people are rushing and knocking each other over for these things, but maybe they should be because I can see me putting on this lipstick. It's kind of a real neutral, but pretty shade. So I, I would love to know if any of you tried it. I know there's a lot of diehard lawless lip fans out there, such as myself and a lot of you guys out there. So I'd like to know what you think. And of course I am gonna follow up, and you saw earlier me following up. I wonder what I wonder what happened with the uh, new Huda Mascara, which wowza. Yeah, I'm really liking that. What a great review. So on Lawless, you know, choose your color wisely. Don't yet let your staff <laughs> pick it for you. Um, make sure that you, uh, you know, you get the right shade. And I think you'd be really happy with that, with this Lawless lip shade. I don't feel it on my lips anymore. The tingling is nothing outrageous. I promise you. I really do promise you. All right. So what do you think? Did you try either of these products or were you planning to? And was this review helpful to you? So what makes us a community that dialogue down below in the comment section? Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. Hey, if you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that we can continue to grow and come on over and say a big hello on Instagram, TikTok, and now on threads. You can become a bigger part of this YouTube community by becoming a channel member. And that way you get access to all sorts of, you know, fun, gossipy, if I do say so myself, weekly lives that are special for members and all sorts of other good stuff. You can also give super thanks to help every penny goes back into buying makeup for the channel. You know how that goes. But in any way that you are here, please know that I'm thrilled to have you and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.